make sure you guys subscribe because tomorrow I'm gonna have eyes and lips. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am speed reviewing 45 makeup products that I've been thoroughly testing. Now this is part two. I do have a part one posted yesterday, so make sure you check that out if you want to see some more products. But I broke it into two parts because it was just, it was a lot. But if you're new to my channel, I take so much pride in my speed reviews because I test so much makeup and I really want to make sure that I'm not just using it once, I'm actually testing it. So I use this series to hold me accountable. Everything I use goes into my speed reviews drawer where I continue to test those products out. And then after I've used them and I have my final opinions, I pull them out of my drawer, talk about them in speed reviews, and then these products can finally join the general population. So these guys are out of the testing part and I'm ready to give you my final reviews on these. So let's get started with the first product. I have a micro brow pencil from Hourglass. This is the Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. Unfortunately, I don't have the perfect shade for me. This is Soft Brunette. It's a little bit light, but I still continue to use this because quite frankly, I love the formula of this. I also love the size and shape. It's so fine and tiny, definitely one of the smallest on the market. Not quite as small as the Huda or the Kosas, but still very fine nonetheless. Perfect amount of dryness to it where it doesn't overblend. I would love next time I'm done with this to repurchase this in the correct color for me. I just need it a little darker because I really love the formula and I can be picky about my brow pencils. A brow pencil is not just a brow pencil. I mean, it kind of is, right? You can make a lot of brow pencils work, but this one is a good one. Next, we have the Catrice Brow Fix Shaping Wax. Oh, I wanted to love this so much. You can see in the demo, I really got this to go where I needed it to go, but the problem is, it doesn't stay where I needed it to go, okay? So you, you see how it looks in the demo. Voluminous, plump, exactly where I placed it. I haven't touched my eyebrows and she's gone flat on me. So yeah, this does not have any hold really at all. So this is not a product I'm going to be reaching for after the speed reviews because it just... It doesn't have the longevity that it needs. It has no longevity whatsoever. Give it 10 minutes, my eyebrows start to droop. On the contrary though, I really do enjoy this Physician's Formula Butter Brazilian Brow Lift Gel. Now this one is looking how it looked when I left it at the demo. So this has more longevity. The only thing, it's a bit watery. And so if you use it or brush it outside of your brow hairs, it will dry there and be a little bit shiny. So you almost need to like clean up around after using it. So it's, it's not a perfect product, but it does hold the brows. There's not a lot of brow gels at the drugstore that I really like. If I'm being honest, this is one of the few that I feel like actually gives the hold that I like. So Despite it being a little watery and messy, I still do like it. Okay, I have a couple eyeshadow sticks to talk about. I've been on an eyeshadow stick journey, just trying to find the best one. I loved them for vacation because I don't have to worry about them shattering in my carry-on or in my suitcase. So they're really reliable, not to mention quick. So I've been testing two formulas. The first one is the top set of swatches on my arm from Milani. These are the gilded eyeshadow sticks. I think I might have found my favorite drugstore formula. I do need to test more. I haven't tested a ton of different formulas, but easily this is my favorite drugstore affordable formula. It's a fantastic dupe for the Hourglass Cream Eyeshadow Sticks. And the Hourglass, they were like 30 something dollars and I just felt like they didn't give the pigment that they needed to give. I would even say that the Milani is a little better than the Hourglass Sticks. Must have shade, guys. This one is so gorgeous. Sterling it has a little bit of glitter in there, which just adds a little bit of extra oomph. Some of these shades I feel like could use a little bit more pigment, but nonetheless, they perform really well. They set down, they have great longevity, they don't crease, and they're super easy to apply. So I've been loving these all summer. 
Another eyeshadow stick that I've been testing that's also affordable is from Palladio. Now this is different than the Milani because they also do offer matte. I've got to be honest, I tried to get these to work for me. I just think they're a little bit too hard. There's too much grip, too much drag as I'm applying it compared to the Milani on this eye, the Palladio on this eye. The Palladio, it just, it wasn't as smooth and creamy applying it directly to the eye. The mattes were kind of hard to blend. So I'm, this is not the formula for me. I think Palladio has a lot of other great products, but I did find these a bit difficult to use in more concentrated areas. You know, I did like the shade Pearl Shimmer because this is a great highlight. I've used this matte black to smudge across the lash line. They worked great in that capacity, but in terms of actually drawing it and trying to get it to blend out, they set way too quickly. It's hard to use. Then I have the Natasha Denona Macro Tech Eye Crayons. These are the colors that came out for the Yucca launch. I haven't used them a lot because the colors are a bit crazy, but I do like this formula. I do think they last a very long time in the waterline, especially this Camu Camu shade. Perfect. And I know my green eyeliner is not really going with the vibe of the look. I have to use it to demo for you. This is Willow. Gorgeous color. Now these, they set down and they have great longevity, but there's a little bit of drag. I do find I have to almost place it along my lash line and then use an angled brush to kind of blend it down to get a more smooth look. So it's not my favorite application, but these have great pigment and they have a great lasting power so i do like this formula but there are some give and takes with it i also used a new color of the ColourPop cream gel eyeliners this is the shade revenge from their naruto collection now this shade is not what i was expecting because it's very glimmery it has a lot of metallics in there and i feel like it's almost too much metallic in there because it reflects the light and you can't really see much of the blue so i love the formula i didn't enjoy this i tried it in the waterline and you just couldn't see it because the reflex there was just too much shimmer i can't believe i'm saying that but yeah i didn't get the beautiful color i was wanting from this also, a new mascara I have from Maybelline. This is a sul the Falsies Surreal. Oh my gosh. The drugstore comes out with so much mascaras. It can be hard to keep track of. I really do like this one. I don't find that it transfers on me down here. And it gives me decent, like, length. I wish it gave more separation and a little bit more volume. So I like this. I'm not going to go out of my way to say this is my favorite hot new mascara. There's lots of mascaras that I feel like just build up a little bit better and are better on my lashes. So this one's just kind of a middle of the pack. Like I'm going to use it up, but once it's done, it's done. I probably won't be repurchasing this. And then the lips category, we have a lot. My lip container was exploding. I had to get some of them out of the drawers. So starting off with the new Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask flavors, I guess is what you'll call them. So we have the mango, and then this one is the one, the lemonade swirl. Mm, I mean, I love this formula. I've been using it for years. Love the smell of this, love the hydration, love to use this as part of my skincare routine in the morning and the evenings, as well as letting it sit while I do my makeup. I'm just sending some love to this new swirl shade because it's so pretty and it smells delicious and I love the way that the formula works. Then I have two lip liners. Not many have launched, but this first one is from Buxom. This is the Powerline Plumping Lip Liner in Savvy Sienna. I love the feel of this. I love the level of creaminess. Personally, not a fan of the longevity of this not the longest lasting so it's just average i've used it because it's been in my drawer in front of me but it's definitely going to end up getting lost in my lip liner drawer because it doesn't stand out as a formula but something i do like about it the other end of it has a brush which actually makes it really nice to blend it out and then put a clear gloss over top and it doesn't look like too stark of a line so there are some pros to this but for the most part it's not a formula that stood out to me a great Great formula at the drugstore if you're looking for something affordable are the Catrice plumping lip liners. Not, you know, extremely long wearing or anything, but a good get the job done kind of thing. Nice easy application. I bumped into a new color because I've used this formula before. I've talked about it before in speed reviews. License to Kiss, a great everyday warmish pink kind of color. So I wanted to share that. 
but I do enjoy this formula from the drugstore. I think it's nice. All right, liquid lips. Let's get into it. Three new formulas. First, ColourPop has reformulated their matte lipsticks so much better, you guys. So much less drying, a much more modern formula. So this is the shade Jet Setter. And excuse me, it's an ultra blotted lip, but they also did reformulate these. So this one is a little bit thinner. It's very comfortable. I enjoy this. Again, an improved formula, much more modern. And because it's that blotted lip formula, it's more Korean inspired and I also find it to have a little bit more pigment than the previous one so it looks more smooth on the lips, not as patchy. Also the Charlotte Tilbury lip blurs, also these blurring things are very popular. Pillow Talk Blur and Rose Blur, personally I like Rose Blur, I feel like it has a nice pop of color. I like this formula doesn't stand out to me. You know, Charlotte Tilbury is a pricier brand, so it might not necessarily be worth the money. If anything, the ColourPop, I think, is a much better value. But I like these colors. Very comfortable. Doesn't stand out to me, though. Happy to have them in my collection, but don't see myself running out to pick up more colors than what I already have. So decent wear time, very comfortable, still has that matte finish, uh, but nothing extraordinary to warrant the price. Okay, so these have been sitting in my speed reviews drawer longer than I would have liked. And it's not because I haven't been using them. It's because I just haven't been sure of my thoughts of these G Suit liquid lips. So it's not like a super thin, super hard and cracky formula. There's definitely some movement that you have, but it has that matte finish. And I like it when I first apply it, but by the time it comes to reapply, it then starts to look like an old school liquid lipstick and perform like an old school li liquid lipstick where the lips look super dry with that second application. You almost have to take it off in order for it to feel nice and not too drying and cracky. And even then, I do find with application, it's almost so thick and clay-like that you have to use your finger to blend it out to make sure everything is really even. It does have a little bit of a soft blur effect. So overall, like I love the colors. So that's my thing. I don't love the formula, but the colors are great. I showed you the shade Strike. What a pretty red-orange shade, and I've been using Lane and Curve a lot. Straight up, the colors here, gorgeous, but I do not love the formula. Couple lipsticks here. First one is from Chantecaille from their, not most recent collection, but from a recent collection. This is the Cosmos Lip Cheek. Cosmos was the collection in Frisia. I love their lipsticks. They are sickeningly overpriced, but they are such a beautiful hydrating formula. This is just a beautiful everyday shade. I did receive this in PR and I would not have purchased this with my own money because it's a lot of money for a lipstick, but I like it a lot. I'm, I'm cherishing it. I love using it. And then I have this one from YSL. This one is the Rouge Volupte shine formula and this one is like a my lips but shinier and prettier a little bit more rosy i love this formula this is a really great everyday lip formula throw in the purse i can't find the shade name of this they don't really put it down here nine i think i think it's nine Anyways, I've been really loving the YSL lipsticks recently. The packaging is so luxe. This formula is hydrating. It has a little bit of glow to it, has a little bit of metallicness, but it still is very everyday friendly. Okay, I'm gonna take a pause on filming because there's absolutely no natural light. It's storming. So see ya in a second when we have more light. All right, just had myself some lunch. The sun is back out. Let's get the show back on the road. So starting off with probably my favorite lip discovery this summer. This is the Etude Dear Darling Water Tint. And first of all, this is only like $4. And this is such a pretty, like, I just ate a popsicle look. You know how that strawberry girl kind of look is trending? This is also perfect for that. I have mine in the shade number 01. Not sure exactly what one that is, but it's so thin and when you first apply it, it is watery. But I just kind of use my finger to pat it in and it's almost like the stain sets in and it's so long lasting. And it's perfect if you're doing a really natural look because you know how sometimes you can get foundation on your lips? With this, 
you can just put it on in your makeup. Your lips are going to look very natural to go with the look, but it's also going to last a long time. So I just love this. I think it gives the prettiest look to the lips. I've done dedicated YouTube shorts to this because it's such a find. It's a great benefit dupe, and I think the quality on this is fantastic. Okay, I have a couple lip oils. The first one is from Palladio. This is a hydrating lip oil in the shade Fly. It has a little bit of glimmers in there. It's a thicker consistency and it has the perfect amount of color with just your average everyday kind of pink lip liner and this over top you have a great everyday lip. I would say this leans a little bit more towards lip gloss as opposed to lip oil but it's a beautiful formula one that I've been reaching for quite consistently given the color being so perfect. Another lip oil that I've been using is from the Naruto collection. This is the Lux lip oil in Chakra. Very pretty color but one thing to know about the ColourPop Luxe lip oils is that they are a thinner formula so the longevity on them is not very long so I just like this for a quick layer of gloss but I definitely have to take this with me if I go anywhere because it will come off like I like the ColourPop lip oils but they are a little thin and they don't last that long so just keep that in mind next up this is an indie brand I tried the Queen Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade heat and do you see how insane this is i have a whole line of lip glosses that also look like this but in different colors i've only reached for this one i have all of the lip glosses that i need to try but at least with this shade i can say exactly how it looks in the component is how it looks on the lips I'm not really going for dark reds right now, maybe more towards the fall I'll get more use out of this. And obviously this lip look as a self-proclaimed boring person when it comes to lips, I love neutral colors. This is out of my comfort zone, but I have got to give them credit where credit is due. It's quite incredible that they're able to get the glitters to literally transfer onto the lips. It looks exactly here as it does here. Also from the Cosmo Cosmic Whatever collection from Too Faced, we have the lip injection, but this one has these really pretty glitters. If I'm being honest, you don't see the glitters really on the lips. This might as well be the clear lip injection, which is crazy because it looks so glitter filled in the components, but hardly able to see it. So, um, I mean, this is fun, great packaging if you like lip injection. I like this. I mean, it's a little painful, but yeah, this isn't much different than the clear other than the packaging is super duper cute. And then the very last product of this very large 45 product speed reviews, we have the lip glosses from Charlotte Tilbury. These are called the Jewel Lips, and I have to say I'm a little disappointed in the word jewel on these because they advertise these as pretty sparkly lip glosses and I just don't get that from these you know complete 180 from the Queen Cosmetics here but I do actually think that this lip gloss formula is very nice I do prefer these over the lip lacquers in her line um, so I like the shade Pinkgasm but Pink Gasm Sunset is where it's at because it's a sheer red and it looks so beautiful on bare lips. It gives almost like a stained look. So I definitely recommend Pink Gasm Sunset. I think it's more unique. I think you get more bang for your buck with this as well because you actually get the color. Pink Gasm just doesn't give a ton of color. I feel like you need to have like a pink lipstick underneath to get the look. I like the formula of these. I think they're overpriced. The marketing, not as glittery as you would think looking at the photos on the lips but Pinkasm Sunset is gorgeous and these are a very pretty gloss but definitely overpriced just based on you know like what you can get from glosses on the market but <laughs> finally that is my speed reviews of 45 products <laughs> in one day well two days for you guys but one day for me i feel lighter because my speed reviews drawer was so heavy filled with so much product it was gonna cause my desk to like fall over so i am cleansed with all of these products going to where they belong in the general population so i hope you guys enjoyed the speed reviews and found it helpful i will link part one down below if you missed out it's mostly it's all actually complexion products so make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and more speed reviews that's what i do here and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one